germ theory really is born with Pasteur, and Pasteur was working in the second half of the 19th century. Right. So it's, modern medicine is very recent, it's right. very new. And of course there were some philosophers speculating that there were mm -hmm. tiny things, because just if you look around it seems like this, this, you know, the plague is spreading so rapidly, you know, right. like what's going on, how are people getting it? So I'm sure certainly there was a germ, an idea of germ theory, but there wasn't evidence for it until Louis Pasteur in, in the right. 1800s. There was this idea of um, <coughs> miasm. It was called miasm. So this was like fumes, these fumes that emanated from corpses or from infected uh, uh, people or from um, uh, drainage, for instance, that uh, was spreading diseases. <clears throat> and then, and that's why, for instance, in the old pictures of doctors during the Middle Ages, you would see that they were caped, so they were all covered, and they were wearing these kind of long cones and noses. Full because of herbs, right? They were full of herbs, and those were supposed to filter out the air to clean up the miasm. So, we know that diseases have been transmissible since, you know, since they started. You know, we, we found transmissible diseases for the first time in the Acropolis in um, ancient Greece. From the start of modern urbanization, diseases started to spread because you have a lot of people living very close together. Um, at those times with no sanitation, and therefore, if somebody got sick, everybody got sick. Right. Um, so plagues were a normal part of living. And the way plagues were addressed, they were kind of closing down, locking down areas of the cities, um, locking down the entire city, cities. Quarantining is a term that comes from, the, you know, comes from ancient knowledge. It's nothing new. Yeah. Um, we, we talk about these things if they've been an invention of some kind of, you know, yeah. obscure um, overlord, but, you know, they've been with us since the birth of civilization. It's easy to doubt something is real when you don't have all the context already in your mind that holds that puzzle piece in place. If you don't know what you're talking about, it's really, it's very easy. Can I, can I say more bluntly, yeah. right? If you don't know what you're talking about, it's very easy to say that that doesn't exist, right? right? So, right. so if, if you know nothing about the history of disease, it'd be easy to say, oh, I don't believe in germ theory. Yeah, you can say that you don't believe in germs. That doesn't mean that there isn't a part of germ theory that is outdated, right? Right. Where there are interactions with the microbiome, the immune system and uh, pers personal genetics and epigenetic features that condition your ability to respond to um, an attack or an invasion from a foreign right. organism. Um, right. So it's not black and white. Again, it's, it's, it's a blend and the more we learn, the more we understand that there are many, many, many different shades um, and responses to a given disease. Right.